Hi, in this playlist we've been looking at algebraic proof. Please do have a look at the other videos within the particular playlist and they'll give you some idea of the kind of basics that you need to follow to be able to work out these sorts of questions. Um, and time and again, the difficulty with it is actually understanding the question in the first place. So we've got proof algebraically that the sum, so we're going to add them, of two consecutive square numbers. Okay, well, let's look at numbers themselves. So in algebra proofs um, point of view, we're going to say that n is equal to any number. Okay, so if it's a consecutive number, what we're going to say is that's any number, but any number plus one is going to be the next number along. So therefore, I can say that the first number is going to be n, and the second number is going to be n plus one, okay? Because all we're doing is we're going to square those numbers. So then we're not talking about squared numbers, we're actually squaring numbers, okay? So let's have a look at doing that first and squaring these two terms and then adding them together. And then we'll worry about what it's equal to afterwards. So let's have a look at the first thing. So we're gonna have n squared plus n plus one squared. Okay, well, that's going to give us n squared plus, and then I've got n plus 1 multiplied by n plus 1. Okay, so let's just expand that. I've got n squared plus n squared plus 2n plus 1. Okay, now if you're not sure about what I've done there and how I've gone from that to that, please do have a look at some of the other videos on expanding double brackets in the channel. Okay, so let's just tidy everything up. I'm going to get n squared plus n squared is going to be 2n squared plus 2n plus 1. Okay, so that's the expression for the sum of two consecutive square numbers. And it's saying here it's equal to twice the product of the two consecutive numbers. Okay, all right, so we're saying that that must be equal to twice, two times, the two numbers multiplied together. So I could write that, I'm going to use square brackets, as n the product multiplied by n plus 1, okay, and then plus 1 at the end, which is this plus 1 bit here. Okay, so let's just multiply that out and see if it works out to be the same expression. So I'm going to look at then, I'm going to uh, multiply out this inside the brackets first. I'll leave those square brackets in place. I'm going to get n times n is n squared and n times 1 is going to be n plus 1. Okay, and hopefully you can see that when I multiply this out then, I'm going to get 2n squared plus 2n plus one. So basically both expressions are exactly the same. Okay, so much, much more difficult to understand the question than it is to provide the solution. But hopefully that'll give you some idea of um, how we'd approach these sorts of questions. Please do have a look at the other videos within the playlist and that'll give you some more examples as well. Please add a comment below. I'll always come back to you and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.